Those are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sin. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies are the souls of sinful humans. Yes, and they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight. Edna, stop it! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! We'll drag them back here if we have. Who are you? about that. Those prinnies are mine. They're my vassals for all eternity.
That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Hmm, you sound just like that love free. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? To save my son's life. Because of my death, my son shut away his feelings, but he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. Of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you. Without considering your reason, without considering your feelings. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude, Prince, take care. Lon, Edna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the Red Moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. When Laharo called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. I'll always remember the sad tale of a mother and her son. Warning, a hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. His name is Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Bonjour! I am your own personal Dark Adonis. 
With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm! Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mogul Girl at Last Stardust Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon. Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. Nothing beats having tea in outer space. How beautiful the Earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hype? Let me see, Gordon. About, oh, five minutes? I see. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the Earth. Are you scared, Gordon? Hey, hey, you're joking, right? Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, is afraid of nothing. You, of all people, should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. <laughs> right. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Oh, sorry about that. Of course I didn't forget you, Thursday. Gordon keeps staring at Jennifer's thighs. Hey, why you? Tea time's over, Gordon. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. I'm turning on the holographic projector. Hi. You look good, General Carter. So, what can I do for you, Commander-in-Chief? You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. Do you have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the Hot Babes and Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza. We'll see what we can do. I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, but the Earth's fate is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three, ready? All systems go. Now, entry hyperdrive. Engage! Engage! <laughs> Episode 9, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Dude, Prince, there's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. Invaders from another world. I have no idea. Invaders? Are they angels who are here to take me back? I doubt it. That place attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with point fingertips. People who are hurt. Let's go, Lahar. Forget it. It's probably just a piece of trash. Lahar! Geez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 